If you would like to get this month's crystal reading for your sign for download and purchase, please click on the Vimeo link below this video in the show more section or visit my website, theluckymermaid.com and the links for these videos are posted on the most recent video page. Please be sure to check out my other psychic readings for each zodiac sign I have available there as well. Thank you so much. Wish you many blessings and peace. Hi Gemini, I'm Pam and welcome to your Psychic Tarot reading for February 2017. This month I laid out the five card rainbow tarot spread for you using a new tarot deck to me called Tarot Mucha. I used this in the mid-month of January Psychic Updates and a lot of you liked it so I'm using it again here in the February reading so hopefully you'll like it this month. Uh, please remember these are general readings and to get messages pertaining specifically for you, you would need a private reading. This recording is for Gemini Sun, Gemini Ascendant, and Gemini Moon. Please be sure to watch your rising sign and your moon sign to gain more insight and information because some months they will resonate more for you than your sun sign will. All that being said, Gemini, now on to your reading for February 2017. The first card you have that shows up here in your reading for February is Judgment. And the Judgment card to me symbolizes a judgment about something. What do we think about it? How do we all feel about it? How does it affect everybody? What's the word? What's the proclamation? How are things going to go down? Now, this to me usually is about a particular situation going on in your life. Some of you Geminis have some fears that seem to have overcome you in some area of your life. Either fears, worryment, concerns, that's how it's coming up here. Some of you may be feeling like you're really ready to like throw in the towel about something. Maybe there's a job you're getting sick of or a relationship you don't like or a friendship, something that you are like fed up with or you're tired of. You, you may, it could be a diet. Maybe you've been on a diet and you're going, I'm throwing in the towel on that diet. I mean, it could be so many things you could be saying you're done with. Whatever it is, the guides feel like it is something you do need to let go because the situation is like toxic or harmful for you. So this could even be if you have worryment or fears about yourself or your own self-esteem issues. It doesn't always have to be an outward uh, expression of something. It doesn't always have to be a job, a love, a family member, a friendship. It can be that, but in some cases, this could be fears or worryments going on inside of you that are not healthy for you or not helping you anymore that you need to release from. I feel some of you Geminis have been like hurt, abused, pummeled around emotionally speaking quite a bit. So that sounds like in the past. I don't feel they're talking about now when they say that. That to me feels like so you might have had a complicated parent or a complicated upbringing. Maybe you had siblings that were abusive to you or your parents or uh, just like lived in a neighborhood full of bullies. I mean it could be anything like that. Uh, this could be unhealthy marriages or love relationships where you got kind of pummeled around or emotionally abused in there. And I feel that this card is coming up to show that these things have affected you and they may still be intertwined in you that are like veins running through your arms. Like it's still embedded or intertwined in you and the guides are saying it's unhealthy for you anymore. The And anything that's like or worryment, or fears, or insecurities, or any of the things I just mentioned, any of these things, whatever is unhealthy for you, it's time to really focus on doing the work of letting it go. You may have thought you've let it go, but the way it's coming up that you have not fully yet. 
I feel some of you Gemini's have had like real hurdles of pain that you've had to cross over. That's how it comes up, like hurdling, having to hurdle pains. I actually feel that there are some of you Gemini's, not all of you, that are actually making a monumentous leap out of it. I'd say in this year, hopefully in the first quarter or half of the year, but I do see some of you Gemini's getting over some uh, old hurts and pains. Now the card you have next, you got this in the same position. I don't know which sign got it. Uh, it may have been Cancer or Virgo. I don't know, but somebody else got it in the exact same position. You have Page of Wands. And the Page of Wands is a card to me that symbolizes a uh, fire sign person. This would either be a Leo, an Aries, or a Sagittarius. That could be their sun sign, their rising sign, or their moon sign. Uh, it could be an adult or a child. Pages can come up as children, male or female. Pages also. Some of you may have a cross to bear with this Page of Wands. I feel that they may have applied pressure on you or put demands on you. They may have some control over you. They may manipulate you. I also get the feeling that some of you Geminis may actually uh, find out or discover something about them that you didn't know. Like, I don't know whether it's good or bad news or good or bad thing to find out. I just get you may discover something about them that you didn't know before. For some of you, this is somebody that wants to come in and do some heroic deeds or acts in your life. This could be for some of you, a person coming in that wants to be in a relationship for you that may have the archetype of the knight in shining armor or the savior type of uh, persona attached to them. Because I get that that's what they want to do. And it's kind of like their personality type, I feel, to be that way, like to be a rescuer. So as I always say, Gemini, when these people cards come up, they can mean multiple people. They may not be all the same person I read because many Geminis are listening to this. So it's not going to make sense. This page isn't going to make sense for all of you when I say it's a love person. This is also, you know, it does come up as a savior figure here for you in some ways. He also comes in instituting change. There's some kind of change of something that's going on with the government. Legalities, paperwork, documents, uh, laws actually is what I want to say. So if any of you have to in your work or line of work, if you do accounting or any kind of business and they're, uh, you know, could have to do with taxes or money's involved for some of you um, that how he's coming up that there may be laws that are being affected in maybe it's not even to do with the job maybe it's to do with an inheritance or taxes you pay personally or if you own your own business there's some kind of laws coming up here that are changing uh, through the, this you know, the pages can show up about business and enterprise and bringing in a message. For some of you, it's not a person. It's that. It's that kind of situation. For some of you, you're going to want to work things out and make things better with this page of wands. That also comes up here. So that could be a child, a sibling, a loved one that you had a fight or argument with, and you may want to patch things up with them. That comes up here, too. So the people cards are always the most confusing. And here you have king of wands. Now, one of the other signs, I think it was Virgo, they had the king, knight of cups and the king of cups. Here you have the page of wands and now the king of wands. And this would either be, again, a Leo, Aries, or Sagittarius, sun sign, rising sign, or moon sign. There's going to be a great deal of swift, sudden movement and activity in your life, I feel, in February and in the first quarter of this year. This is somebody that does come in with like an air of nobility for real and comes in with a lot of 
uh, power and vigor and, you know, maybe even righteousness. And remember, I got like the savior energy or the knight in shining armor energy off of the page of wands. I'm getting like this lordly. Uh, and I don't always get that with kings and queens. It's not something I usually get, but I am getting it here. For some of you, he's a patriarch, a fatherly figure for some of you. For some of you, it's like a husband or a boss, even. It, it comes in, see, these people cards come in a variety of ways. I feel one of the reasons they're showing up is because in February and moving forward, you're going to be communicating with them in great detail. I get like face to face meetings with them, phone conversations, emails, like all kinds of things. Uh, lots of variety of conversations between you and the King of Wands. For some of you, there really is a strong sense of kinship or family with them. That does come up. I feel like he wants to change a lot of things. Uh, and I feel there's some frugality, frugality around this King of Wands. And I feel there's things that he wants to change. He also comes up as a peacemaker and a mediator. So if you have people in your family that have been in conflict with each other, he comes in as the person that is either a mediator or a conflict resolver. So if you have anybody in your family getting divorced, this could be their mediator if they're not using lawyers. Or it could even be a lawyer. But I also get peacemaker here. Uh, intertwined like if there's family arguments going on he kind of comes in to try to s make the peace and solve the peace it's always very confusing when the people cards come up Gemini um, you have to listen to that part again you're not the only sign that got that kind of people thing going on here so here you have the devil as your next card and the devil is a card to me that symbolizes being addicted to an unhealthy relationship it can also be uh, you know, trapped in an unhealthy relationship. It can even be addicted to other things like ways of thinking or alcohol, sex, pornography, drugs, drinking, smoking, gambling, whatever you could get addicted, spending money, eating, anything you could get addicted to it can also mean any of that. Any of you that have been stuck or hoping for somebody new to come in for you, I get you need to get rid of things in your home maybe even like in a feng shui sense and put some things in storage it's like you have to clear things out so the new can come in you may even consider moving because i feel for some of you you have to clear out the past for the new to come in now that's only going to apply to you stuck feeling gemini's not all of you feel stuck but it is coming up here I actually feel your Gemini spirit of being divided in half like the twins has really seriously been kicking up for you in the past couple of months and maybe even you feel it still now uh, because I get you feeling like I feel this way but I feel that way I want to go this way but I'm gonna I'm going that way like divided like do I want to stay here do I want to move do I want to find somebody do I not really want to do that do I want to get divorced do I want to stay married do I want to get married no I want to stay single like I get whatever you could be divided about do I want to quit this job do I want to stay here do I want a new job don't I want a new job like I get the total division between uh, the two halves of yourself very strongly here they're saying this devil also represents for you being in bondage to certain thoughts in your head and certain ideas you have that you need to release yourself from some of these and I feel like when you hear this Gemini you will know what thoughts that the guides are talking about you will know what like thoughts and like it's almost like you're addicted to certain ideas or you're bound and trapped by certain thoughts or ideas like you need to expand your paradigm uh, or change it that's basically because I asked why is the devil showing up what's the main message and that's what they're saying because the guides are acting like you're coming right now to a crossroads in your life they're showing me you at this crossroads and you need to decide what you're doing 
what direction are you going to go? Now, maybe you're going to be a Gemini listening to this and go, she's crazy. I don't know what she's talking about. I know exactly what I'm doing. I'm doing this and that and the other. But maybe not all Geminis. Maybe there are some of you that understand this division inside of yourself is kicked up. And that the, for whatever juncture of your life, I don't care whether you're 50, 60, 30, 20, I don't care. I still feel you're at some kind of crossroads where you have to make a decision what you're going to do. And you may not think you're at one, but <laughs> the guides are pretty convincing, convinced that you are. So think on that, Gemini. Your last card here is Five of Swords. And Five of Swords to me is a card that symbolizes standing your ground, drawing a line in the sand, standing up for yourself, standing up against your conspirators, detractors, or gossipers and naysayers. But standing up for yourself and standing your ground. You know, not to be dramatic here, Gemini, but I really do feel like you're coming to some kind of climactic point in your life right now. And I, you, I don't know if you see that. I wonder if you do. You'll have to comment. I'm sure you will. Uh, and let me know if you feel like you're at some like climactic point of like making a decision about something or being at a crossroads about something. I feel some of you have become frustrated and have given it up to God, so to speak, where you've been like, I'm handing it up to you, Prime Creator. I can't make sense of this anymore. You're going to have to really step in here, show me the way, and guide me. I do feel some of you Geminis have that feeling right now. Some of you Geminis feel like people are trying to manipulate you and cajole you. And those of you that feel that way, I see you're saying, they're trying. I see you thinking it. They're trying to manipulate me and control me and get me to do what they want me to do. But I'm not doing it. I'm doing it my way. I do see some, not all, some of you Geminis having that kind of will uh, strike up in you. And this card is a card of exerting your will. It certainly is. Standing up for yourself, but also an exertion of your will. Some of you may think of cleansing yourself with natural cleanses that you can buy at the health food store or maybe you can do with organic foods and things on your own without having to do any powders or pills or anything like that or drinks. I, I, something you could create even. I get some of you wanting to go through like a cleanse, like wanting to get toxins out of your body. Maybe some of you have had to go through like a transfusion of some sort, because I really, almost, it almost feels like a transfusion to me, but it also feels like a cleanse where toxins and toxi toxicity is moving out of your body. Some of you may start taking some kind of training, some form of training or some kind of education, lessons or classes that also comes up through this. They're telling me there's some big gap the bridging some big gap but the gap I feel needs to be filled in or repaired now this could actually be a real structure in your house that is like where siding is coming away from a door jam or like walls are separating or there's a gap happening in a floor it could be a literal brick and mortar kind of gap or wall kind of gap but this could be gaps in your life that are you know maybe started out like a small crack and are now expanding and this you need to fill this in like i'm literally seeing it get filled in with cement but it could be a metaphor for you need to fill in and make a, a you know fill in the gaps i feel like you have this you're having a very unusual reading compared to some of the other signs gemini for this month uh, there's a lot of esoteric messages here for you in these cards. It's also like uh, spiritual you and, and, you know, you need to change some patterns of thinking, release old wounds from the past, clear out old things, maybe put things in a storage locker or in storage, possibly think of moving your home or location, getting out of any stuck positions, but it's also... A card of you're not going to be manipulated and control I mean this whole reading you're you're not going to be manipulated and control you're going to stand your ground some of you I don't know you had the most out of all the readings I've done 
you've had the most seesawy or wavy uh, one. I don't feel your reading was necessarily bad, but there is some component of like a cleanse and spiritual evolution and revolution in you. That's I take that away more from this reading than anything else out of all the other uh, messages. But please listen to it again because they did talk about people. And as I say, when that happens, you it's never about one person because there's way too many Geminis that are going to listen to this. And let me remind you here again, if these messages did not make sense to you, then your messages may be coming to you in your rising sign or your moon sign this month. So please be sure to check that out. It does happen quite often. I hear about it a lot. So I hope this reading was of help to you. I hope it made sense. I want to thank you so much for liking, sharing, and watching my videos. Thank you for subscribing and for Google Plusing. I do truly appreciate that. And please remember to subscribe. That way I can you'll get notified when I post any of my videos here on YouTube and I have started to add more videos. I'm doing the uh, full moon crystal, psychic crystal readings, the uh, new moon psychic crystal readings, and the eclipses. I'm doing psychic crystal readings for them as well. Uh, so please be sure to subscribe. That way you'll get notified. I was told by someone on my Facebook uh, business you know, page that their uh, subscribership on YouTube got wiped out and they had to resubscribe to me and other people all over again. So you might want to check your subscriberships because I don't know if something's happening with that. But uh, I also would like to say, Gemini, if you would like to get a continuation of this reading where I look into the crystal for you and get uh, messages from my spirit guides for you for the rest of the month of February 2017, you can access these videos for download and purchase by clicking on the link below this video in the show more section. And it will take you to my Vimeo videos on demand page for my February 2017 crystal readings for each sign of the zodiac. You can also go to my good old website, www.theluckymermaid.com, clicking on the videos tab on my menu and going to page eight. Scroll down the page, it's a little drop down menu. When you see page eight, click on that and then scroll down the page, and there you will see the headings for the February crystal readings. You just click on your sign and it will take you to that video on Vimeo. I hope you have a fabulous and fantastic February, Gemini, and know that I wish you many blessings and peace.